hello guys welcome back to my channel and uh, this lab is quite lengthy and complicated and one more thing if you just forget one single step in this lab so you won't get the score for this lab so i request you to first of all follow my video step by step and then do the lab okay do not uh, do all the things if you think okay it's given on the lab page so i just do that so just follow the video and uh, do the step by step because task 2 and task 3 is quite complicated so i request you to please follow the video okay just come over here click uh, search for firewall first of all copy your name copy the name come over here and firewall and click on firewall okay now click on create firewall rule and i will tell you and what places you will get the error so yeah if you don't follow that so now click on http server come over here and in the target type place paste that and copy the range from here and paste over here and choose tcp and now 80 make sure your firewall rule look like this now click on just simply create okay done now again click on firewall rule just first of all copy this name click on firewall rule come over here and in target type paste your http server okay and the range must be from here to here copy this paste here and hit enter button okay again copy this paste here and hit enter button just choose the tcp and click on create so task one is easy it won't give any headache to you so yeah for in task two one more thing guys make sure you are you are doing this live in chrome browser not in any other browser okay so you had done with this task now what we have to do we have to go to vm instance so just come over here vm instance search for that and please i request you to please watch the video carefully now so you can see for, first of all what we have to create we have to create instance template so the second option is instance template click on that create instance template and copy the name so now you can see here there is a one blank space okay so we just need to remove that so let me zoom it for you and you can see there is a one blank space so you just need to remove that okay now series must be e2 but machine type must be e0 okay now watch carefully come over here and in the firewall rule click on this check boxes okay but it's not mentioned over here so that's why now copy this okay in advanced option go to management then go to metadata and click on add items paste that you can see there is one space so just click on delete if you are using mac if you are using windows there must be backscape like this and just copy the value and paste over here you can adjust for here likewise this okay so we have done with metadata now click on networking copy this and go here click on network tab and paste your http server copy this uf U us east one likewise this in network interface click on that drop down and sub network search for your us east one I am not getting because I have one extra space in the front. Okay, so please make sure that you won't do that kind of mistakes. So you have done. So now we click on done. Now we can click on create. Now please guys watch carefully. If I just click on create instance template, I won't get a score. Okay, what we have to do as in telling lab instruction we have to click on create similar okay so just click on refresh so you can see this blue uh, link now click on here now click on create similar okay you have to do exact this step otherwise you won't get a score 
copy this make sure you don't copy that the full stop copy the name come over here and replace with that okay it's already europe west to europe uh, e2 micro sorry e2 and uh, e2 micro make sure you choose already choose uh, all firewalls and here in we have to copy the http uh, server i think it's not already mentioned so click on advanced then click on networking and yes network tag is not mentioned likewise and then we have to come uh, copy the uh, what we can say subnet click on that network interface and then subnet option search for your europe west one and click on done so you are done with this now you can click on create so if you are just follow these steps you will get the score otherwise you won't yeah make sure that you uh, click on create similar otherwise you won't get the score guys okay now what we have to create instance group where are the instance group here is this in the instance group section click on instance group now here we can see there is one blank space we just need to re remove that blank space click on that paste over here and you can remove this okay so if i just click on this okay so for me is us east one uh, what we can call region for you it might be not uh, option to choose us east region so you just need to first of all change your region from here likewise this and then you can or have option to choose your instance template format uh, region is already set so i don't need to choose now just maximum number change to 2 cp utilization change target cpu utilization to 80 then click on done now cooldown period must be 45 okay we have done all the steps so what we have to do we have to click on create okay now here we have don't uh, we can't see any create similar so we have to create manually okay so again click on create instance group change over here and if i just click on instance so europe west one is not available for me so what i have to do first of all i need to change to europe west one so i will click here search for europe west one so here it is and make sure you won't do any changes in zone and then you can click on here now change to into two utilization must be 80 then click on done cooldown period must be 45 and then click on create so yeah if you just wait for a second you will get a score just let the instance group create please wait for a few seconds and you can see here please create the instance group which required conf configuration why because it's all it's still creating if you don't follow this above steps you will get the please create the instance template with required configuration okay so that's why i told you that task 2 is quite complicated yeah now what we have to do we don't have to do anything verify the backends no need to do, do these steps now the task 3 do we have to do yes we do have to do now click on search option click on load balancer open this in new tab come over here in node balancing create load balancer and http click on start configuring make sure that uh, first of all you choose from from internet to yeah uh, or serverless and make sure you choose the the classic option okay it's not mentioned over here okay it just mentioned that we have to choose serverless so you just need to uh, choose that second option classic and now copy your http lb okay load, load balancer and paste the name here now click on your backend configuration okay actually they haven't done the uh, what we can say uh, steps correctly it must be first of all front end configuration or then it's 
must be backend configuration as given in the lab console but in when we do in the development so first of all we create the backend after that we create a front front end so that's why they do the uh, first of all backend configuration so yeah uh, now click on here now click on create backend service yeah and for the name we have to copy this paste over here okay and instance group us east one port number must be 80 okay port number must be 80 now choose the rate our rate and maximum rps must be hit 50 50 okay and you can see i just uh, wrote 80 and it's convert into 77 so if you don't pay attention you won't get a you will get a error in the stars okay so just remove that and make sure it must be 80 and then hit enter button okay and now click on done okay now what we have to do now please look here carefully if you just click on create you won't get a score so we have just create one reason now uh, one backend now cl again click on add backend from here choose the europe west one now utilization it must be uh, 80 and 100 okay it's mentioned over here and in the port number we have to enter 80 it's mentioned over here port number must be 80 okay so i think in future they might be uh, modify these steps but yeah for now and uh, in future this the step uh, the process must be same okay now click on again done so we have done with these steps now now for we have to create health check so just scroll down a little bit click on health check and click on create health check for the name we have to copy this paste over here and do nothing over here just paste the name okay click on save don't click on create now now click on enabling logging and the sample rate must be one so what yeah sample rate must be one it's already given to me if not just paste one over here and now you have done with all your backend configuration and now you can cl click on create and you can click on ok ok so you are done with that now we have to click on front end configuration ok so first of all what we have to do we ha don't have to do anything http http 4 inferior mode and 80 it's already the given so yeah you can just click on done if not you just need to change likewise this okay you are done now click on again add front end configuration in ip v4 change into ip v6 likewise this and do nothing okay you are done with that and now you can click on create then just wait for a few seconds okay it will take some time so yeah so we can move to next step uh, what we have to do we have to create one vm instance okay so copy this go to your vm instance click on vm instance and click on create vm instance okay uh, wait for a second now copy here and paste over here it's a us is uh, us center one us center one is this us central one zone must be a okay zone must be a and series must be e2 so yeah don't need to no need to change over here and do we have to no just come over here and click on create no need to do anything okay and please check that is your yeah so your load balancer has been done so if we just go over here and click on check progress so we will get the score okay so we have done with this task 3 or we can say task 4 ah, whatever it is yeah it's task 3 so our uh, virtual machine is still creating yeah it's done now click on your sss it will open 
it might be give the some kind of retry error so you just need to click on that retry uh, retry and yeah let me see if i get the error or not just copy your co this command and wait for a establishment so it's done now paste over here so it's doing the stuff now please watch carefully export we have to load balancer ip we have to export that ip so copy from that and go to your load balancing click on your http load balancer and from here you have to copy the http ip port copy that ip address and port number so paste over here so you are done now copy this and paste over here and i got so much error and then like this so no need to worry about that okay you, you don't need to worry about this stuff okay you w w the, the main motto of that we just have to create version uh, one vm instance okay so we don't need to do these steps now in the task 5 this is a important task we have to do and it's quite easy so what we have to do uh, we have to go to cloud armor I the dictionary open I don't know okay we have to do we have to go to cloud armor okay open this in new tab copy the name click on create privacy policy paste over here in default rules action click on allow then click on next step click on add rule and uh, you can see match right so where there we have to change with uh, external ip of segme vm that we already just created now so copy your external ip come over here and in the place of in the box of match just paste that okay it must be deny 403 and in priority it must be i guess thousand yeah it must be thousand okay now click on done so we have done with that now click on next step next step click on add target and just choose the first http load http backend now so we have done with all the things we can click on create private policy so it will take few seconds and we are good to go i hope you guys like this video and i try to do do this lab as slow as possible and explain you every and each steps so yes if you have any concern please let me know i will be happy to help you guys yeah we have done congratulations thanks for watching have a good day guys.